Flying low over Lake Nakuru National Park in Kenya, rangers track a white rhino close to a herd of wildebeest. They want a clean shot with a tranquilizer gun. They are relocating three males for breeding in another national park. It's part of an anti-poaching program with the World Wildlife Fund. Kenya's rhinos are being killed at an astonishing rate. In the last one year, I think we, ha we have lost close to 70 rhinos in this country, which is a significant population because that is about 10% of the population we have in this country. This animal, which can weigh up to three and a half tons, can live up to 50 years. Rangers saw off its horn to deter poachers. It can grow as much as three inches in a year. Rhino horn is wanted across Asia for its perceived medicinal qualities. Illegal traders can fetch up to $90,000 a kilo. Chips are inserted under this animal's skin and into its horn. The rangers hope high-tech tracking will help protect the rhinos in Kenya and beyond. The plan is any ivory that intercepted will be able to be traced to the animal that it came from which directly leads you to where it has come from. So we know that this problem is happening all over Africa. I mean, the range states in Africa, particularly South Africa, Kenya, Namibia, Zimbabwe. So we'll be able to differentiate the sources. The tranquilizer begins to wear off as the rangers heave the rhino into its container before the journey to another national park. The World Wildlife Fund says there are around 20,000 white rhinos across Africa. Protection programs like these, it seems, are succeeding. But it says three of the four other species and subspecies, including two in Asia, are critically endangered. Conservationists say poaching methods are evolving and the demand from illegal markets in Asia and elsewhere is on the rise. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.